property climbers fight to save their portfolio next. One does the work, the other takes the glory. Macbeth's power struggle has a whole new look. After Front Seat, we begin the 150-year history of reporters at war on one. Hi, everyone. We had some decent amounts of rain fall over the Southern Alps early today. Good for the Hydro Lakes. More rain's forecast tomorrow, but in lesser amounts. Here's some shots of Auckland. Overcast, but that didn't stop over 300 bikers getting out on the road to raise money for Ronald McDonald House. They help care for seriously ill children and their families. And great to see so many people caring. Well done. Time to check out our maximum temperatures. Alexandra got to 25 degrees today. Overcast 17 in Hawkeye but very warm along the east coast. Timaru 25 and Christchurch 26, our national high. Kaikoura shared 25 with Masterton and Napier. 22 in New Plymouth, Coastal Bay of Plenty, Hamilton, Auckland, Paihia and Whangarei. And Kaitai, a muggy 24. From our satellite, it's easy to see why it was so gloomy and grey in so many places today. Uh, all of this is frontal cloud, and uh, this looks likely, oh, it looks like more showery frontal cloud heading out of the Tasman towards the South Island. And here we can see it on the isobars, right there. Tomorrow the new cold front should brush the far south, bringing a few showers. Our rain-bearing warm front becomes very slow moving, but still likely to bring rain to western areas. And a new player comes into the mix tomorrow night in the form of a low, developing off the uh, northern edge of this front. It'll combine with this uh, subtropical low and feed moisture into the frontal mix. So it's not very promising for dawn parade on Tuesday. Uh, most of us will more than likely get wet. But surfers don't mind the wet, and the North Island's east coast beaches should have big waves Tuesday. Uh, possibly Auckland City beaches will be breaking too. Tomorrow in the South Island, rain for Buller and Westland, showers for Nelson and the Richmond Ranges. Scattered rain should develop over in Canterbury. In fact, by the end of the day, most of the islands should have had a shower or two. Nor'easterly winds for all, but southerly is developing in the south, affecting Fiordland, Southland and Otago. And it's Groundhog Day in the North Island, basically the same as today. Uh, fine for the southern half, cloudy with occasional showers up there in the north and gusty nor'easterly winds throughout. Scattered rain develops in our southern regions tomorrow with cooler southerly winds in Queenstown, Alexandra and Invercargill. We'll need the raincoat again for showers in Greymouth and Hokitika. Threatening cloud but mostly fine in Kaikoura and Blenheim. Showers with some heavy falls possible over western areas of Nelson. Uh, cloudy but fine in Masterton, Carpety and also Levin. Just the odd shower for New Plymouth, Napier and Hastings. Strong northerlies for all here, fine in Whanganui and also Palmerston North. With showers with fine breaks in between over Taupo and Aotearoa. May have an afternoon shower or two in uh, Tōkoroa and also Gisborne. And showers with fine spells in all of these regions with some heavier falls developing in Kaitai and Whangarei late in the day. Cloud increases in Dunedin and scattered rain develops during the afternoon as northerlies fade and tend southerly. Mostly cloudy in Christchurch with occasional showers and a strengthening nor'easterly breeze. Wellington's fine with high cloud, fresh northerly winds and a high of 20 degrees. Mostly overcast in Hamilton, showery periods, strong nor'easterlies and a warm 20 degree high. The nor'easterly gusts to 45 k's over Auckland. Should be another overcast day with passing showers turning to more frequent rain at night. Showers in Sydney, Cairns and Brisbane tomorrow. But the big news is tropical cyclone Monica, and I'll tell you more on that soon. Unsettled weather for most of our Pacific neighbours. However, Niue remains fine and sunny. And uh, sorry, but it looks like a wet Anzac day for everyone, so take your raincoat if you're on dawn parade. And showers for most on Wednesday, but uh, fine along the west coast. OK, I want to show you more on Cyclone Monica. Here it is in the Gulf of Carpentaria off Arnhem Land. Now, it doesn't get any bigger than this. It's a grade 5, highest on the cyclone scale, with winds to 320 kilometres per hour. Now, that's as strong as Larry. So in the space of a month, two cyclones stronger than anything to hit this part of the world for over 200 years. And check the size of it. Here we go there. And pulling it down here, it's bigger than Tasmania. And if it carries along its current path, will hit Arnhem Land and then Darwin and sure to cause damage. So we'll be monitoring its progress closely and keep you informed here on one. Back to you, Wayne. Excellent. Thanks, Brendan. Thousands of pyjama-clad Southlanders have slugged it out for the record books. 3,459 people, mainly hyperactive kids, took to each other with pillows, aiming for the world's largest pillow fight. Among the mayhem, there was only one rule. The slugging had to last at least 60 seconds. 
In the end, just 11 people made the difference, Invercargill eclipsing the record set in New York last year. Yes, it has been all happening in Southland this weekend, and that is one news this Sunday. We'll be back at 6 tomorrow morning from the weekend team, though. Good night.